What's up YouTube? Here with my fiance Tracy. We're gonna show you guys this jig bag that I purchased. Um, it's pretty, pretty dope. I just wanted to show you because I get so many compliments on this and everybody always asks me where I got it, who it's made by, how many jigs it holds, what do you have in the, ba the bag? Do you just take that with you only for fishing when you're jigging? I did a lot of research on what bag I wanted. Not sure, you know, if I wanted a small bag, a roll up bag, or anything. And the Shimano bag that I really wanted was out of stock, and everybody who had it was like a collector's item and it would cost like over $100. Luckily, I waited out and found this bag. It's exactly what I wanted. There was no reviews on it. After looking at the description and specifications, I, I knew this was the bag I wanted uh, for the price and selling point. I was shocked that, you know, it was it was that cheap. So let me show you what's in the bag and how the bag looks. This is the Mustad bag for the purposes of just going out, jigging and grabbing a bag, ready to go. This was probably the best all-in-one thing you could buy. So I have here my fluorocarbon attached to it. My mustad is the back of the bag. Um, it's a really light bag uh, with there's no jigs in it, but my, this thing is full of jigs, so it's gonna be super heavy. How much do you think it weighs? Twenty pounds. Twenty pounds, and you've been working out or what? <laughs> Tied on by a little buckle here. This velcro here, this little mesh pocket is the best. Um, I don't worry about getting anything wet in there. I have my all the other stuff in there. I have my hooks, uh, more hooks. I have my little Plano box, a uh, little mini. I have my hooks in here that either rip off or you know ones cut off. And I usually like to use double assist hooks. So if it gets cut off by a kingfish on one of them, I would cut it off and then just store it so I can retie it later when I get home and I can just put these two together. Yep, let me show you the other side of it. I have my ball bearing swivels. In here I have a little my split rings, I have owner ones and I have uh, regular ones. So yeah, all that is in my mesh pocket. A little comfort handle on it held by Velcro. And here we go. Well, it's not completely full because I lost some jigs fishing. You bought um, more. So yeah, I have more, uh, you know, that's the one thing about having this bag. Once you start seeing things empty, you're like, I got to fill it up. So what I have in this bag is a bunch of my jigs. I'll go into the jigs later into another video and what my favorite ones are and which ones I like to use for certain um, types of fishing and certain depths. Um, yeah, so all these jigs are held in. Uh, you can take them in and out here and there, you know, uh, the longer ones, there's there's some pockets that are longer, some pockets that are shorter. So these are, are like the average size ones. Uh, they're, you put them in and you close them up. Uh, you don't worry about getting wet because all this this material here is a weatherproof material. Will it get deteriorated by the salt water? No, I don't think salt water would deteriorate. The only thing that would probably deteriorate over time is this denier fabric. It's pretty pretty tough though. I, I pretty much abuse these. I just throw them around and I once I get on the boat I just toss it. And you know, sometimes it's in like the front of the boat and if it gets wet, like you know, it's it still holds up. I do a pretty good job of taking care of my stuff. But. So this is another one side right here. So this is the one page. And how many it holds in here? Three, four, six, eight, nine. Yeah, nine pockets there, same There's on this a big side. Yep, same over here. Um, you flip to the next page. Um, there's this long, long pile over here. I mean, this my my long jigs are on this one. You can see here, uh, all my hooks are in. They're protected. I usually have two sets of uh, assist hooks. So, and you can close that. Usually, I I tuck these in just so I don't poke myself. And then I throw the Velcro on top. Shorter jigs, I'll throw on this side because they're shorter pockets. And if I wanted to put something in here, I could also like sandwich it in between. I can also take out these bags. And if I just to wanted make to it lighter too. make it lighter and just take this bag with me, I can do that. You know, you have a. It comes with a handle and all that. Um, if I wanted to leave this one at home because I, you know, I didn't want to use a set of jigs, I can just toss it to the side. 
I can do the same thing with this one. Or I can just take this whole set right here with me. It's much lighter now. All the heavier jigs obviously are not in the bag right now. It's just beautiful. It's everything's made perfectly as like a jigger's dream. I don't know what else you would want in here except maybe more storage. <laughs> Uh, this is the back of the bag. It's been in use for a while, so I know how durable it is. This is just a little bit of the, how it came, how the Mustad made it. It's not like the best, obviously sewn, but it's enough for the, the price point. And this bag is made to get beat up, so don't baby this, obviously. Get these back in there. Whenever I go fishing, I just take this one bag with me. Um, everything's in here. Someone calls me to go jigging or you know if I want to go jigging and take the boat out, I would just grab this bag, everything's in here for me. Um, like I said, I got my split rings, my hooks, my extra hooks. So yeah, whenever I'm fishing out, you know, I need to open up some split rings. I just take my split ring pliers in here. It's attached to my bag with a little magnet on it. Um, so I just take it, pull it off, open it up, change out my jig, close it up, um, and then just toss it back on my bag and then just goes and stays on there. Close up my bag. I also have my fluorocarbon here and I usually attach to here. So I'm prepared and ready to go. You know, nobody's waiting on me. I have everything. Everybody whoever needs anything on the boat obviously just jumps into my bag. They, they feel free to grab anything they need. Um, again, this is probably the best bag out there. I went through a lot of reviews and a lot of uh, different bags just you know asking around and see what kind of bag was good again this is between this and you know spending over a hundred dollars on a shimano bag that's discontinued uh this is probably the best bag and i just again got lucky and jumped on it right when it released you can get it on amazon it costs a little bit more you can get it in two days obviously this is a larger bag um this is the large bag compared to the the smaller size they have. The smaller size they have I think goes for like $13. Uh, holds less jigs. But this larger bag has more pages, more uh, places to put your jigs, bigger. And it, it's the larger version. And this one I think went for $45. But on Amazon I think they were asking for $55 or $60. I didn't want to look on Amazon and you know I want to support local businesses so I just went online and looked around uh, tried to check out you know all the local tackle shops called around they didn't have it so I was like you know what I really need this bag I really want this bag let me just order it on Captain Harry's um, they're based out of Miami I live in Fort Lauderdale so I was like you know it's gonna be fast shipping and it's gonna I can't wait to get it and I think in three business days I think they got it to me and they have free shipping if you order, I believe, over $50. So it, I bought this for, what, $45, $46 on their website. Yep, yeah, so that's my bag. Um, again, you can see Tracy walk away with this. Uh. It makes me carry it. It's kind of heavy. And you're off to fishing. So stay tuned for the next video. Uh, next video, I'm probably going to go over my favorite jigs and all that. And you can see I'm going to... I put these jigs on the table so I can sort and through them. Thanks for watching the fishing dentist. Don't forget to follow, like, and subscribe. Hit that like button over here. Uh, if you have any questions, you know, comment below. If you have any suggestions, you know, what I need to throw in this bag, what you think, you know, anything you need, to, you know, you want to ask me or say to me, just comment below. And don't forget to subscribe for new content. And have a flossum day.